holy uh, restaurant. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it would Sanctum Walk would have to be like manned entirely by like Buddhist monks <laughs> that have a vow of silence. So like you put in your order and they just bow and walk off, and you're like, did, "Why did, did they, they just give you water and nuts?" No. no actual food. No, 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 no they, yeah. they cook you a delicious walk, dude. It's, it's yeah, it's part of their religion. Yeah, I mean there'd be there'd be nuts in said walk because that's how yeah. it walks. But <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, it's like, where's your sign? I'm busy getting ready. <laughs> we're all good. Okay, fine. We're going without you. What the hell, man? Give me like ten seconds. Okay. Okay. So anyway, uh, I'm at the I'm at the Sanctum bonfire. I'm putting my sign out like right in front of the door that we unlocked to get here, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna start recording. So yeah, Sanctum walk. Buddhist monks take your order. It's a delicious restaurant, <laughs> and uh, the the other thing that they do is like uh, they also try to serve you without you noticing. So, like, yeah. you'll be in conversation with people, and then you'll turn and look down at the table, and your food will be in front of you, and be like, holy yep. shit, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. uh. How did this appear in front of me? So, yeah, um, jokes are better when they're, um... Workshopped? Huh? Oh, your sign's out here. She yes. <laughs> trying to hide remember it Remember I me. said my sign is outside the door? I don't remember that, actually. Oh yeah, you yeah were, I don't you think I heard that, but we were we were joke. pretty busy talking about Sanctum Walk and the logistics of such a uh, <laughs> yeah, such it's, a, it's a part of their eatery. religion. Like they're they're a weird, obscure little sect of uh, Buddhism, and like they they gain ascendance into the afterlife and enlightenment uh, by um, cooking the best food. Man, is that all actually of my audio so... just mucked up today? That that seems so like against uh, the Buddhist religion to be so preoccupied right. with taste. Uh, I mean, that, they're that's... trying to they're trying to achieve like divine taste, dude. There's nothing more Buddhist. <laughs> There's nothing more Buddhist than like food based than enlightenment. Discipline. Yeah, yeah. Than like a, a task that you perfect into discipline. Oh yeah, there there is straight up. Uh... Practically like Buddhist philosophies for anything, which is hilarious. Yeah, I was I, gonna say is you can do I, anything Buddhistically. Wonderful. Yeah. Where's your helmet? Oh yeah, where's your helmet? You need she to be wearing a, a walk pan like the rest stop, of us. But like he, I, I, I don't. I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna start trying to stab you because I'll get confused. <laughs> That's not. The... I'm already. Whoa, I'm you're... already confused. I'm already trying to kill him. Your axe is uh, swoosh, swooshing our clothes. I am the high priest. Leave right, fine. me be. Fine, be be the priest of onion men. Oh my souls! That's right. Oh, did Durfee die? <laughs> What's your soul count at, bird? Uh, well, currently I have twenty-one thousand. If that's what you're asking. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> well, I mean, I just Ow. died to a dragon. Yeah. Like, literally a second ago. No, that's fine. I mean, not I'm not, literally ju I'm not judging ago. you too much. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, corner of the arena. You're looking mighty comfortable today. Ow. <laughs> you still got hit. Shut up. <laughs> so, Bird's tired today. Yeah. That was me yesterday. I like... I really enjoy, uh... Satellite Why Rain. Why is hurting me? Is that like, uh... A technological version of Chocolate Rain? <laughs> no, that was the game that we played yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I, I know, I know, I'm just... Uh, I love that game, I'm to make it's a fun. But it was the wrong Dude. day to play Satellite Rain. Derf, I... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta realize. I, do, I assume I that you forgot that we played a game at all yesterday. It's true. <laughs> that's a that's a fair assessment. Yes, all right, I killed. Yes I killed the false one. Oh damn uh, okay, it! Lovely. I need to heal. I watched. I'm not giving you my support, emotional or otherwise. <laughs> and that's my choice. 
Y'all <laughs> can't, can't take that away from me. Damn it, he's coming after me again. But I can you're make you feel guilty over it. You're not even a real Velstar. You're using a shield. I know, shield. I'm... Yeah, well, I have oh, to switch away it. from the belt because it's got, like, no durability on it. Oh, uh, switching targets cool. every time. Refreshing taste of Estus Flask. Oh, hey. Do you think they sell um, Estus Flasks for Dark Souls fans? Uh, uh so... Probably? Like an actual drinking vessel? Uh, so having visited the, uh, the Namco headquarters, they did have an Estus <laughs> flask on a shelf. Oh, it nice. was empty, ah. but it was definitely an Estus flask. Well, you have to fill it with souls. No? No, that, you fill it with Estus, dude. Whatever, yeah, the bonfire. <laughs> okay. You don't you just kill a, a dude. And... You, uh, exploit your Estus organ, and you fill it up at the, into the flask. Oh, she's got really weird, Ow. saggy boobs. Does she? I want to see. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> Her boobs are also made out of rib cage. That's a problem. Whoa. Oh, too bad he can't actually attack her for us. Ow! That'd be hilarious if, if, if she just walked out. Justice! Got them both. Suck it, Bellstat. Nice. Suck it, Ow. bird. What did I get what? hit by? What did I do? Suck a duck. <laughs> what did I do? Suck several ducks. <laughs> how did... How? First off, how? Second what off, you... why? <laughs> oh, man. He's getting drunk off Estes. Yeah. <laughs> so when I was in, I think, either early high school or late middle school, uh, City of Heroes was still, like, a thing. Uh, like a game that... Was functional. Existed. I don't know. They, they nuked yeah. it. Yeah, they nuked it. I was kind of sad because I liked that game. Um, I had a free game. free trial because I'd played like a shit ton of. Uh, I had a shit ton of copies of Guild Wars One, so I more or less just stacked all the free free time cards on one City of Heroes uh, account and just played a bunch of it. Uh, but in classic me ways, I would oftentimes make a new character every single time just because like I didn't really care about the game. MMOs at the time were like RuneScape for me, so it's just like whatever. Uh, so, in a fit of juvenile, I don't even know what you want to call it, but uh, I decided to sit down and make like a very attractive woman as like a character. But like, uh -huh. you know, you know how like uh, they have some kind of risque things, like just straight up bodysuits or whatever. My goal is uh -huh. to make a, a conventionally attractive woman that you couldn't help but feel like horrified to behold. So like uh -huh. the boss that we just fought, it was pretty that was pretty close to actually what I made. But like Ew. Yeah. What's your definition so, of attractive? Uh, uh Sarah not Kerrigan, that. But <laughs> like All right, so what, pre, what are you doing now though? I'm gonna on fire after the boss. And uh, we're gonna fight another boss. boss. Yeah. Oh, okay. And it's back to back. And Do then I there's a third boss that summon? we have to go find somewhere, because I don't know where he is. Actually let me let me go level up first. Okay. Oh, yeah. I have. Uh, I go to Sanctum Nadir. And, oh, uh, whenever you're ready. They're making a a successor, City of Titans. That'd be cool. That would be cool. Yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? So Probably are words. you saying, Bird, that uh, that infested Kerrigan gave you a weird boner? No, I'm saying. <laughs> He did Just get an up close look at those boobs. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> I was always kind of weirded out about it, especially when Diaboobs came along, and I was like, what? Yeah, Diaboobs is weird. Uh, boobs should not be made out of, like, leathery carapace. That's yeah. weird. <laughs> and yet, and yet they are if you're Kerrigan, and they're, they definitely are if you're uh, Diablo. I just had problems playing that game. Diablo 3? Yeah. I had problems playing it too. I it it made me sad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like everything kind of felt like really familiar. It's kind of like I don't know. Uh, if I went back to my hometown, but like uh, everything was slightly like run down and shitty. It's like I'm kind of glad to be oh, here, dude, but also it's that just actually oh. happened to my town, kind of. So it happened to everyone's would... town. 
Every well, place so, sucks now. <laughs> I went back to my my hometown for a little while, and I was walking around downtown. I realized like half of the businesses that I was like aware of existing in my town had shut down. So it was just uh -huh. like one bookstore and Starbucks, and I was just like, "What the hell happened? Oh. Like, did everybody just go?" I mean, two thousand eight happened, and you know, wiped everything out. But I hadn't like realized because you know, I went to college more or less as the full implications were hitting people. Yeah, same here. Yeah. It's worked out all right. Yeah. I mean, none of those businesses deserve to exist. Like, who needs it? Who needs a Don't. fine rug shop in a small, like, Massachusetts town? Nobody does. I think there's also this weird, uh, like, nostalgia effect. Um, you just remember things as better than they actually were. Oh, no, they were terrible. I just felt weird <laughs> because my town was empty all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, also, like, several down? building, uh, you. Okay. Several buildings burned down near, like, the center of town, so there's just, like, one neighborhood that was just mm. blackened and charred, and I was like, huh, this is, uh, my, yeah. was not expecting that. My hometown that. got crushed by the opioid epidemic. Yeah, well, you were, you're from Albuquerque. Yep. Albuquerque is like, ugh. Uh, yeah. It's not just opioids. Like, the cops in Albuquerque, the <laughs> crime, the well, homeless population. Yeah, these are all tied to the opioid epidemic. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you've listed is literally opioid epidemic. Fair enough. Yep. Dragon! And then the other hometown I lived in uh, was, I think the, the average age was probably like 60 Ow. years old. <laughs> yeah. So. That was that was my time oh. in high school. That's why all the businesses shut down because it was a bunch of old people that would refuse to let like trendy new places come in, uh, but also would not shop at oh. any of the fancy places. <laughs> so basically, they <laughs> San Francisco their own town without it being San Francisco. Yes. Huh. They also were uh, voting to kill the school system. Which is really yeah, goofy, because there's, like, that, five that. elementary schools, three middle schools, and, like, one high school. And they're like, let's defund it. And it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, the same oh, shit that people have done everywhere across the entire country. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, what ended up, uh, what ended up making them change was, uh, they, they realized, uh, well, they realized, god damn, I'm probably gonna die here. Dude, you're getting... Destroyed in this fight. Yep, oh. I'm dead. <laughs> I need a dodge roll. I was trying to block, but half of his attacks are unblockable. Sorry, it was all my fault. I died too early, and I couldn't help you. Nah, that's fine. I've been playing yeah. a tower defense game, <laughs> so I'm not exactly set up for. Uh... Oh, that's funny. You actually respond to that as if, as if I was serious. Summoning. I mean, I got wrecked like immediately. There's no oh, way I could help. It's fine. My sign is down. But yeah, I think what ended up happening was the uh, town council, who is not a bunch of old people, was like, all right, well, I guess we're just raising property taxes on you because not enough young people are moving in so we can tax them on their income. Huh. Yeah. I've never seen old people do, like, a specific protest before. But usually, you know, they're mixed in with the regular protest. But I've never seen, a, like, a protest where the average age was well over 60. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wait, were, what were they protesting? I was not... Property taxes. Property attention. taxes going up. Because when, uh, when you're retired, you don't really pay a whole lot of taxes. But property taxes you do. Mm-hmm. Especially uh, if your property is, like, $3 million. Because Massachusetts is really expensive to live in. Yeah, I could possibly eat up into all of their retirement funds. Pretty yeah. quick. Yeah. I mean, these were wealthy old people, so it's not like they couldn't give, they just didn't want to. Anyway, let's kill this dragon, but first I'm going to get my souls back. Yeah, taxes. They're due uh, next month. Are you ready? Oh, shit. Uh, well, I've got all the forms together. I just need to say, like, alright, today's the day I do taxes, which is pretty much the day... Ah. Uh... Which is pretty much the day where I just sit down yeah, and say, "That's the proper reaction to doing well, taxes." Well, like I don't mind taxes too much. The main problem is just uh, calculating all of my business expenses, which uh -huh. yeah, across everything is going to be a pain. Yeah. Oh Christ! 
<laughs> You're getting ass poked. It's like I anyway. roll and I die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I swear I this guy spent more time on the ground last time we fought him. I don't understand why I have to do my own taxes because it's literally just somebody mails me a bunch of forms and then I fill out forms by just punching the data into the other forms. Well, I once toxic, again, most likely. Uh, uh, companies like TurboTax have uh, oh, that's have, true. I've have lobbied, so, yeah. They lobby pretty Wait. hard so that the IRS can't, like, automate Fucking things. Fucking God, this boss yeah. is destroying us. Wow, well, that was the first time that I actually fast. had full health. Mm -hmm. And somebody else died first. Because you know what the I... IRS does, like, when you send in your taxes? They recompute everything and double-check it. Yep. And it's just like, you know what? Why don't... They're just giving Why? you an opportunity to lie or mess up. I guess so. Honestly, boy, um, this put your is signs the down, most boys. Dry topic we could be thinking of. <laughs> this is freaking tax season. It's on it all of our heads. Tax season. So Actually, it's just like, well, does, not derf. When, when's well, Canadian? I, I didn't do tax my taxes season. for like uh, five years or something, and then I did them all for the five years uh, past. Like How'd last year. How'd that work out for you? Pretty good, actually. The good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you nothing bad happened. That? You have to yeah. realize, Dur Durf's, like, income is almost entirely in maple syrup, so, like, not exactly <laughs> taxable income. <laughs> uh, the Canadian IRS just looks at him and is like, just make sure you're sharing with others. <laughs> Did you make sure to give your neighbor a, a friendly hello? All right, that's $5 off of taxes. Yep. I actually uh, worked my butt off before that, so I have quite a bit of money saved up, and that's kind of what uh, letting me start this YouTube Twitch thing. Oh, I didn't uh, know so that. I'm just kind of living off of that for now, so oh! I'm not actually making a whole lot. I know who Durf is. What? You're uh, you're the guy that made the room. It was <laughs> inexplicably super loaded, <laughs> and now you're no. like doing a YouTube. No, channel. no, no! I don't consider myself loaded at all. Yeah, you're Tommy Wiseau. You're loaded and you run a Let's Play channel. <laughs> Those are the two things I know about Tommy Wiseau. I definitely also play consider Dark myself Souls. as a poor boy. He does play Dark Souls. Oh, uh, does anybody love you, Durf? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> well, what about your fami familial history? Ouch. Ow! My, my and what? Your familial history. Oh, jeez, don't even talk about it. Half my family is kind of a bag of dicks. Only half? That's pretty good. <laughs> and how big is this bag of dicks? Uh, it's not that big. How In big terms, is the average like, dick Immediate family the is not that big, but uh, extended family is, like, huge. Yeah, but how, how, how big is the, uh, is the average dick within the bag? God damn, just land so we can hit you in the ankles, you goddamn creature. Yeah, this guy's uh, like Sith, but ten times worse. The dicks that are dicks Ow. are huge dicks. <laughs> wow, this, man. This is You're definitely real the proto-Dark Eater meteor fight. Yeah, this guy is really, really frustrating. I don't remember how we fought him in the past. Uh, I remember he kicked our asses. I thought we had a fairly easy time of it. No, no. All right, I remember I'm how it went down. I'm gonna throw some it poison easy for knives. you. You won, like, on our first try. I had to spend, like, nine tries. Jesus Christ, my hammer's already almost broken. Why? God damn it, I can never hit him. I'm actually getting him with some uh, poison knives. Well. Helpful. <laughs> oh, now the arena's all toxic. You dressed it. My God, actually, really hard to hit him. Yes. Anyway, no, Durf. We were doing a thing. Uh, you said you were a poor boy. And, I yes, I knew. I know what. And the I thing was, was asking if uh, if anybody loved you. I, you don't have to explain yes, it. Yes, I do have to explain it. So this is a song <laughs> that came out in the, uh, probably like the early 80s, I think. Uh, it was by a British uh, rock group called Queen. Now, 
Despite the fact that they're called Queen, the Queen herself was not actually a member of Queen. Um, she a, wanted to be, but they said no. She yeah. wasn't rocking oh enough. God, I'm pressing no. all the wrong buttons because of Bird's stupid story. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, so yeah, the the Queen auditioned for Queen, but uh, you know she she has a really bad singing voice, so but they didn't. How they didn't dare tell you her say that. that about the Queen? Well, they didn't want to tell her that, right? Because that was actually illegal. Like, if they did tell her that, they would have gotten executed. Uh, they would have had their heads put on pikes as nice. yeah. law at the time. Yep. Uh, and they would have been thrown into London Tower and uh, yeah. London Bridge would have fallen down and all that. Uh, typical well, yeah. stuff. well, no, that's the thing. They drop London Bridge on you. <laughs> like, yep. they routinely do so to... it. I mean, it's British executions. It's just an accident, mm -hmm. quote-unquote. But I mean, everybody <laughs> knows. <laughs> everybody yeah. knows. Oh, hey, the uh, boss that's battle how, arena is, is farting. That's how MI6 uh, uh, discreetly assassinates people. They yep. just drop London Bridge on people and yep. then sing it. Get everyone, every eyewitness, to start singing a children's song, and uh, you know, the everyone gets distracted by the song. They don't uh, notice the dead bodies. I Where did the, the king story now? start? In Soviet Britain, bridge goes on you. <laughs> uh... Yeah, that 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 was pretty bad. I'm but... now trying to combine the British national anthem with the Russian national anthem. <laughs> Rule Britannia. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro, I'm sure. I'm sure if you would actually complete that, that, that would actually be Holy such a good shit, meme. That was two sentences. <laughs> Sorry. Let's try that again. I guess I'm just gonna look it up. You you keep conversing with Durf. I'll uh. Okay. I'll I don't want to conderf. Oh. <laughs> Conderfing is. He doesn't even want to hear my stupid queen story. And no, he said I... it himself. <laughs> I distracted him. I, I was a distraction I just, I was to just him. blaming things. That's all. For my own I failure. I know you're blaming things. You're blaming me. But yeah, if you were to actually manage to uh, combine uh, the two anthems, I think that would be such a good meme. Like, you'd, uh, you'd, you'd, you'd be instantly 3% more popular. I'd be a meme? Do you think I can do it? I think you're you, already a meme. You just, you, we'd be 3% more popular. I mean, currently you're an emoji at the very least. <laughs> <laughs> rule Britannia, rule Britannia. I don't actually know the Russian national anthem that well. I, yeah, no, it would take. Some I only work. know the Russian an national anthem because I saw Hunt for the Red October once, like nine years ago. Whoa, that was close. I tried rolling underneath him. It uh, didn't work. Oh no! Here we go. Here we go. He's down. Yeah, he's staying mean down for in, you. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's staying down for me, and I don't mean that in the sense of uh, he's a drug dealer. Hang on, hang on, guys. <laughs> hang on. Yes. Story. So there's a a coworker. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> So there's a coworker here I am with full health trying to help you. He sniped me with that fireball. It went over wander through two pillars and hit my foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, his weak point. A, that was a dick move. Anyway, so yeah, I have a coworker who uh, was telling me the other day that his phone number used to belong to a grandma, a drug dealer, and a hooker and he would um, he would just constantly get the weirdest texts where oh. people would ask if he was if he was holding uh what they like and like they would send her the pictures and be like like missing you Mima. when are you coming to uh like visit us again and also oh. being like hey, like hey are you down for like a booty call <laughs> like oh my god to the same person now, the natural question is, were the grandma, the drug dealer, and the hooker all the same person? I don't know. I unfortunately <laughs> do not know. Nobody knows if that's the case or not. But, um, 
I guess I'm uh, summoning. Yeah, go ahead and summon me. But uh, that's uh, that's that. So you know, the real question is: Did the grandmother reply with, "Um, are you down?" Then you would know. Uh, yeah, then you would know. Are you down, Grandma? Hey, Grandma, <laughs> are you holding? <laughs> hey, Grandma, are you Where's down for a booty at? call? He's in the back of the arena. The same place he's oh. always been, Mr. I'm the best at this game because I never die. So, not exactly the same uh, kind of story, but I got an email from Amazon, I want to say, uh, a month or two ago. I forgot to change my contact phone number on, on my Amazon account when I changed phones, like, a couple years uh -huh. ago. Which is, whoops, should have done that. Gonna fly. Um, so I got an email from Amazon customer support asking God me to change my phone number. Boss. Because Ouch. the old phone number that I had apparently went to some little old lady. And the amount of package notifications um, that she was getting had her concerned. Because she had to stay home to make sure she'd receive them even though they were not heading for her. And I was just like, I'm a terrible person, and scaring an old lady. Hey, to be fair, old ladies are easy to scare. True. But it was just uh, I mean, hilarious to get, like, a non-automated non -automated email from uh, from Amazon support from, like, you know, some, some nicely written email being like, please change your phone number on your account, or we'll have to close you down. And I'm like, what? Huh. I thought uh, I was in trouble for a second. Yeah, not gonna lie, Amazon support is always an absolute blast to deal with. I'm not gonna like say oh, yeah. that in any sort of official capacity or anything like that. But oh, yeah. every experience I've ever had with them has always been unbelievably pleasant. I uh, I accidentally rented John Wick One when I was trying to rent John Wick Two to watch on Amazon Prime, uh, and I was just like, help! And within like <laughs> three seconds, they're like, oh yeah, how'd you like the movie? Ah! Why does this boss break my shit? What? Why is my broadsword at risk? The only thing this boss really breaks is my... So, uh, heart. this boss Ow. in the previous... God damn it. This boss and the previous boss will, if you hit them, uh, it will break your weapon. Slowly. Yep. Uh, yeah, my, are... my axe is almost down to half durability. Oh, this oh. Like I've already gone through... Axe. I've already gone through my entire Zweihander. Okay, here we go, here we go, this looks good. God! I can repair it though, right? Yeah. Uh, use repair powder. Or just go repair it at the blacksmithery. Oh, it's broken now. It's okay. I can still hit uh, him with this it, boss right? is dead. This boss is dead. Yeah, we got it. Yay! Cool. Oh. We killed I, uh, Sin. was not two-handing this. Yeah, I'm gonna put on the ring that actually keeps my shit from breaking. There's bracing a knuckle ring? ring. Yeah, it's called the bracing knuckle ring. I don't know if you have it or not. I don't think I do. What do I have to do? Um, just go to, to the center, look for the pulsing thing. Don't forget to grab the other ring that's in there, by I, the way. I, I, I got it. Okay. So, yeah, you get a crown. Uh, so, the entire point of this DLC is we're, we're collecting three crowns. Okay. What is the other ring? What is the, what is the ring that we just got do? Yorg's ring. Sometimes deflect spells. Huh. That's awful. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me see about this repair powder. Uh, I think if it's actually broken, you have to go back to the blacksmith. Okay. I'll just do that real quick. Uh, I could be wrong. I think that's the case. Ah, whatever. I'm, <laughs> I was having a difficult time even finding the repair powder in my inventory. But blacksmith, I know how to do. Right, bird? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, do you come from a poor family, Durf? Um. So here's the thing. Uh, my family was technically like super know. rich but 
Gambling. My grandparents and parents are technically poor. Uh, and how that so happened is I a bit of a long you? story. What? Did I spare you or no? Spare me? Yeah. I don't know what that means. From the monstrosity. God damn it. <laughs> what? I still, yeah, I'm still not exactly sure what he means. I'm just guessing it's a. All this right, is just the on. first. This is just the we're first time I've on. heard about sacrificing Durf to monsters. Durf, 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 Durf. Would you describe yourself as fairly laissez-faire? I don't. I. It, it, I. Oh, this is still Bohemian Rhapsody. Shut up. <laughs> I remember the lyrics. But I obfuscated okay. it. You I did. Know that, you did. I know That's that why it took me a bit. A French. Oh, shit, he's Canadian. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. He's fake. He's fake Canadian. Oh, Remember, that's true. his first language is Portuguese. Ah, well, I, yes. know, I know. I know the, French. Um, the Canadians see. of Portugal. I think if people speak to me in Portuguese or French, I'll understand them perfectly, but I'll only respond in English. Yeah. I for the life of me I cannot speak Spanish, but I can in, I can understand it real well. Which is really oh. unfortunate when people are insulting me and I'm like, uh well, I guess I'm just aware that you're an asshole now. How often <laughs> do you get insulted in Spanish? Uh <laughs> do you get like often? angry YouTube comments that are just like in all caps? Sometimes yes. I, I have gotten <clears throat> uh I have gotten multilingual insults and I Sometimes can understand them, and sometimes I'm like, "Oh, you're a crazy person," and ban them. <laughs> uh, I got one. Media. I got one that it was. I, I think it was a copy pasta, but it was hard to tell. But the person was talking about how like they're the smartest person in the world, and like uh, that's copy it, pasta. I know exactly. Yeah, what I think about. I think it was. But they were like trying to prove flat Earth theory in my YouTube comments. Yep, that's in copy pasta. Finish, I think. <laughs> Dude, if Which anyone can prove really flat Earth, it's, it's me. Why? Because. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you about to die again, Bert? No, I'm not about to do nothing know-how. I, you know I was stuck might under the die. dragon. Oh my god, my sword's already half broken. What the hell? What the hell is this bird? Dragon. I hate this dragon. I hate this just dragon. I hate this dragon. Oh, damn it. Just do what I, I did and run around. I hate the people that animated this dragon. I hate the people that programmed this dragon. I hate the people that designed the dragon. Oh, I died. Oh, wow. Suddenly, Captain of Industry, <laughs> Durf, isn't so hot at this game. I'm a, I need to run away real quick or I'm going to die. Watch out for the fireball. God damn it. <laughs> We're getting destroyed. Only, I feel only like my uh, racing uh, ring is pointless here. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't seem to help you at all. No. What else of mine is broken? Go fix it. I just see the, the weird icons on my um, under my stamina bar. Well, I guess I'll go level up. The fact that no. I'm still getting one to two levels consistently here is ridiculous. Well, Durf needs yeah, to go I'm fix his shit. Yeah, I'm amazed that we're getting that many uh, uh, souls. I can't level up, though. Now you're getting more soul memory than me. Well, maybe somebody should stop dying. No. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I'm, I, I really learned about uh, Bird is he needs a lot of words of encouragement. Yeah. His ego is very fragile. Yes. We've established this <laughs> so many times. <laughs> My my heart is like a little delicate baby flower. Hmm. I'm gonna make a rapier really quick. Ah! Uh, Give me a second, boyo. I'm bored. I know you are. When are we gonna fight the dragon? Do it without us, right? Okay. Please, <laughs> please don't. No interest. Hey, for all we know, we're the bad luck, and he just you know, needed some uh, alone time with the dragon. Excuse me, he's a Excuse fireball me. magnet. We are not the bad <laughs> luck. 
Wait, what? <laughs> that is I true. don't need alone time with the dragon. Okay, let's, just, let's establish that right now. My shit is down. Oh, okay. On the ground, it's uh, waiting for it's you. It's gonna take me a little bit. I have also shat upon the ground. Okay, I can't really, I can't really summon at the moment. You are fighting the dragon alone, aren't you? Yes. Why? <laughs> because you told me to. <laughs> no, I told you to. Yeah. Yes. Why would you listen you. to Durf? Why would you listen to Durf? <laughs> Ow! God! Stop distracting me. Your bad no. luck. <laughs> Fucking uh, damn it, I died. Who could have seen this coming? <laughs> I got, that was the worst I've ever done on that boss. Uh, it is all going according to plan. Durf, don't troll me. No, this is this is just the uh, the proof that's needed to uh, to prove flat Earth. Oh yeah, how is this looping into flat Earth? Um, oh, you see, Bird, he actually died four <laughs> times on the boss. Four, <laughs> four, square. Squares have four corners. Squares are two-dimensional. If you take a square, you draw it on a piece of paper, and then it's like, boom, you got your square. Then you take that piece of paper, you lay it down on your table, you see it? Black. So, um... Yes. I don't actually, um... No. ...think that the Earth is flat. Just want to say that right now, but... I... You know. <laughs> don't I think that you're about to like concern troll if you're like I don't believe that the earth is flat but if I did here's no what no I no would it's say. not it's not an if I did uh it's just okay OJ you, you know um uh the like the curvature of space time you, you uh, know some physics is this is this a time cube justification yeah where's this going into? oh god damn it this stupid tail No, no, no. So, um, like near near a black hole, uh, space actually curves, so yes. the path of light will bend. Uh, but if the Earth was just a large mass that was flat, the farther you went away from it, it would appear round. So that would actually explain why there's two perspectives that uh, people seem to have. No. Even though one of the perspectives people don't actually try to prove. One of the perspectives is just downright stupid. <laughs> Durf, remember how I said, like, that you were gonna be like, oh, I don't believe in flat Earth, but here's exactly how I would prove it if I did believe in it. <laughs> he did. He we did. We know what you're doing, and we know that it's like stupid bullshit. Like, we get that you believe in oh, flat toxic, Earth, and you toxic. just don't want it. He, he believes in flat oh, Earth, but he doesn't place. want to admit These it. These are bad so places. So he's just like couching it, and like, you know, d he's being devil's advocate. I've been I'm on toxic. internet forums. I know how it works. It's some heavy poison. I didn't poison get that there. from any internet forum. Also, you got it. I, you, I'm not trying to prove anything. <gasps> All I'm saying is. Um, oh, I know. You're just you're just asking questions. <laughs> just just pushing the uh, just questioning the other side, playing devil's advocate. Yeah, he's just he's just asking questions, man. And he, he's just doing it for entertainment. You know, I'm doing it for edutainment. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> this is an educational show. <laughs> and what are we learning about, Durf? How, oh, damn it, how I died. Are we Durf learning about crazy shapes groups. and astronomy at the same time? I'm fucked. I didn't take any damage from that. Weird. Here's the what? real question that we all need answered. Are tomatoes flat? Are tomatoes flat? By the way, I've no. gone through both of my Zweihanders now. You've gone through Zwei Zweihanders? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the nice. spear, the spear hander is busted. <laughs> wow. The tail attack got... had an extra animation. <laughs> All right, time for the bell. I'm so glad I carry spares. How did we? I you hate fuck. this fucking boss. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> he, I took so long to drink that Estus. It was like, all right, we're going to take this out. And did you die? Yes, Durf. I died. Thank you for just <laughs> asking questions. Uh, 